Whether you buy stocks or shares or bonds, you are essentially helping companies raise funds while making some money in return. Bonds are the equivalent of loans to a company from investors. Stocks, also known as shares, end up making investors partial owners of the companies they buy stocks of. The promises a company makes to its investors in return is really what differentiates stocks from bonds. Let's begin with equity stocks. Here, the investors become the owner of a fraction of the company. In return, the company promises the investors a share in the profits of the company and they can also earn from the positive stock price movement in the future. Stocks are usually either common or ordinary, which anyone can buy, or preferential, which have a combination of features not possessed by common stocks. Preferred stocks generally have priority over ordinary stocks in the payment of dividends and upon a company's liquidation. Ordinary stocks can be bought and sold very easily in an electronic form through the stock exchange. If you can buy the right stocks and hold them for a long period of time, they have the potential to deliver high returns for you to build long-term wealth. When the company is doing well, it can also give back a portion of profits in the form of a dividend. However, investing in stocks can be really tricky. You really need to do a lot of research on the company and analyze the market, industry and economic trends before investing. Some stocks are also difficult to buy, either because they are costly or they may just be unavailable to purchase. Despite studying and understanding everything about the company, an overall bad market sentiment could still result in stock price moving down. So the prospect of earning high returns comes with the downside of being exposed to quite a bit of risk and uncertainty. In other words, your stock moving sharply up or down. And given the constant rise and fall in the stock prices, your own emotional makeup or behavioral biases can come in the way of the right buying and selling decisions. Equity stocks are for those individuals who are looking to earn high returns and create wealth and are happy to take risks to get there. Now, let's look at bonds, also known as fixed income securities. Bonds generally pay a set rate of interest over a given period and eventually return the investor's principal. This happens with companies raising money from investors by issuing debt securities such as debentures and bonds or with the government issuing bonds. Bonds come in many forms as well. Some have fixed interest rates, some have floating interest rates based on market movements and some have zero interest rates but come with a higher repayment value. You may also come across treasury bills which are types of fixed rate bonds issued by the government for a very short period of time. They usually carry very little to no risk. You may also have heard of another type of bonds issued by the government called gilts. Their prices can fluctuate in the short term but are usually steady over the long term. Gilts generally come with no credit risk because the government will always pay the investors back. So with less volatility in the bond market, you can choose to invest in bonds to earn steady income. Another advantage is that companies have a contractual obligation to prioritize payments to bondholders in case of bankruptcy, which also reduces your risk as an investor to an extent. The shortcomings of bonds include not having high return potential such as equities and potential penalties being charged on early redemption. Before buying a company's bond, it is important to evaluate its credit rating. A company with a low credit rating may offer a high interest rate but carries high credit risk, the risk that the company may default on payments to its bondholders. So, when investors buy bonds, they need to be careful who they are lending their money to. Fixed income securities also face interest rate risk. If interest rates rise, the price of the previously issued fixed rate bond reduces because investors, if they wanted to, could have potentially earned more value out of newly issued bonds. Similarly, if interest rates fall, older bonds can become more valuable because investors cannot see the same value in the newly issued bonds. Bond investments are generally for those individuals who are looking to invest in the market without taking much risk and want capital protection. Most smart investors buy a good mix of both equity stocks as well as debt securities for their individual benefits. But doing so requires a great deal of knowledge, experience and time to understand what and when to buy, sell and how to maximize benefits. A simple and effective way to invest in stocks or bonds is to invest in equity mutual funds or debt mutual funds respectively. 
this will help you gain from these asset classes at much lower levels of risk due to the benefits of diversification. You may consult an investment advisor to understand how you can also gain from investing in various types of mutual funds. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.